So I've been teasing some of this stuff for a while. I've been saying, hey, this was a little kind of a passive statement. It would be a good idea to make sure you have access to most of your visual assignments. Yep. Um, and then I was like, oh yeah, your goal for today is to have bitmap copy of every piece of design work, specifically like a PNG and a JPEG or a PDF. Um, and some of these things like SVG files and Illustrator files and InDesign files probably won't work. But today is when I'm sharing or demonstrating how to put your portfolio together. Pretty good, huh? All right. Let's say you're ready to start putting your portfolio together. Here's how I would do it. Mr. Beam next door and I started changing how we do portfolios this year because we wanted to make sure we did something that was a little more accessible, easier for kids to do if they're working on it at home or if they haven't had a lot of Mac experience, Apple computer experience. So this is what we came up with. We're going to start using this program called Google Slides. If you don't see slides in this window right here, you might have to scroll down. You're usually going to find it. It's yellow. Seems like most people that I've talked to, most of the graphic arts students that I've talked to, unless they're freshmen in the first quarter, have had a little bit of experience with Google Slides, at least some. So easiest way to do this, start a blank one. I wouldn't start this one directly out of the assignment like some of you like to do. All right, I've got my first slide here. I'd probably make a title slide. Your name. Yeah, something like that. I would definitely create a name for this project instead of creating something that's called Untitled. Uh, let's see, it should be something like this, your name and the name of the assignment. Here's one suggestion that I think will work best for this. Choose a theme that is mostly dark because it will let most of your work pop out a little better. So we're now just going to make a new slide. You might do a slide that has maybe some text built into it already. Let's try that. All right. At this point, we're mostly adding images. So you can do this a few different ways. You can go to insert and find image. If you have things on your Google Drive mostly, you can find them in your Google Drive. Most of mine are in a folder on this computer where I collected them specifically to use for this project. So I'm hitting upload from computer. Your mileage may vary depending on where you're keeping your good files. All right, I have a folder that I made just for this. Items for portfolio. I'm not sure if you can see this drop down window right now, but I'm going to go find one item that I know will work on this portfolio. Hey, look at that. All right, this is a New Yorker cover illustration. So what I'll do with this one is put a little brief description of what the assignment was. New Yorker cover. And yeah, maybe if you're feeling if you're feeling cool about it, um, maybe put a little little caption on it. Let's see. Bitmap. This one was done on a bitmap to make. Um yeah. 
period. All right. So tell me what it is and a brief description. This is in case somebody else in the future is looking at this. You can show them your little, little bit of your thought process and why you did it. You're going to do this for each of the assignments that you did and finished in Graphic Arts 1. If you're in Graphic Arts 1 right now or in Graphic Arts 1 and 2, if you are in Graphic Arts 2 right now. Here's an easy way to keep going with this one. I could copy it and paste it, but there's also duplicate slide. That's nice. All right. At this point, um, I'm going to start doing some. Hmm, let's try something. I think for the next slide, I'm going to have my caption, my, my text box is on the other side. This thing, I'll just get rid of. And we're going to go place something else. And this is the folder that I have all of my stuff in. Another way you can bring things into a program like this is find it and drag it right in. If it has a plus, you know it's going to work. Pen tool basics. This is the first project I did using vector graphics tools, period. Hey, that's enough. You get the gist of what's going on. I want another one of those. Okay. So here's some things that might give you problems. I'm over here looking at a scalable vector graphic, an SVG that I want to put into this presentation. I can see that there's a little thumbnail of it. So there's definitely, there's definitely some information there. If I click on this, I can open it up in a program like Illustrator where it was created, but let's see what happens if I try to use this. It has the plus. Unsupported imp oh no oh okay. Guess that's gonna require that I go in and do something like open that thing up in the program in which it was created or use some sort of um let's see, use some sort of uh online tool that changes the file format, but um Theoretically, and it's most likely, if you created one of these images for an assignment, especially if it was this semester, you should still have access to the way that you created it. If you made it with an online tool, like the online vector program, you should be able to still open it up in vector and make a different version of it. Let's see if I can use this one. Uh, what that one's the image is too large. The image must be smaller than 25. Oh man, that one was too big. Also, Let's see if this PNG works. Hey, that worked fine. Um, might have to do something just for this particular slide because the art is almost all black, right? So let's see. I think I'll just go make um, make a shape. arrange order bring it to the front there it is so that could work pretty well this is a t-shirt design that was done by one of the graphic art two students let's see what else works and what doesn't work does an InDesign project work? We're going to find out. No, InDesign projects don't work. You'd have to export it into something like a PDF file. Here's a PDF file. 
format is invalid or unsupported. What? I was I was totally sure that one was going to work. Oh man, do PDFs work? Maybe PDFs don't work. This is different than uh, what I did before. So you might have to go if you have a PDF or something like that. You might have to go in and um, change it to a different file format too. Let's see this PDF. I could help you do this at school if you need it. Might have to go export this one and make it something like a JPEG. And let's go put this in the same place as the rest of mine. Hey, well that worked. That is definitely different than the software that we used to use to make portfolios. Mr. Bach just learned something there. Let's say that you got all of your work in there. Each piece that you did has its own slide and you gave titles and captions to everything. Here's what you can do to finish up your portfolio before you turn it in. And I do not want your slideshow in the slideshow format or Google Slides format. The only way I want your project turned in is like this. Going to file, going to download, and I'm downloading a PDF document, which will end up being a multi-page PDF. It's creating it right now. Go open when done. It's opening up this PDF directly in Chrome and I can see all of the pieces of it. These ones where I didn't actually change the text, didn't make any actual titles. So think about that. That's something that you'll have to do as you finish this one up. Let's do this a different way. Show in Finder. Okay, you'll have a way to make sure that you can see it on your own computer. On this one, it lets me show it in the Finder. So it put it in the downloads folder on my computer. It will probably, and Google Slides will probably put it in a similar place on your computer at home. If I open it, if I double click on this on my computer, in this uh, Apple Macintosh computer, it opens up in a program called Preview. And I can still scroll through and see those. This is the file. This PDF file is the one that you want to upload to the assignment page to get credit for finishing your portfolio. Get this, the portfolio in your assignments in PowerSchool is in its own category, completely new category, where there are no other assignments. It is a, a weighted category, so it I'd have to check on it, but it has its own um, weight and balance with the rest of your grades. So the actual portfolio assignment is the only assignment in that one category. It's going to affect your grade a bunch. So you want to do your portfolio and turn it in. It's going to help you a lot. If you have a, if you have a grade that's below a B or a C, it, it's probably going to bring your grade up. If you do all of your other assignments and you decide just and you have an A already and you just decide decide not to do your portfolio, it is definitely going to bring your grade down, maybe even a couple of grade letters. Just letting you know. So it's not something that you want to space out and not do. It's pretty easy. You can get it done easily during one of the finals periods. And I can help you out and get it completely done on the finals period that you're here. If uh, indeed you are coming to school on Thursday or Friday.